The door behind you closes solidly. Okay, yeah, this is the craziest puzzle I think in the game, right? You are in the attractive tube-shaped region of the asteroid. A barrier springs up before you. You know, I better I better save here. This is going to be um, tough. Because I don't remember the, all the exact steps in the order you have to do them in. Another barrier stands in your way. You feel the floor shift below you. It's moving to the left. Drop waste basket. There's no need to put an empty basket here. Put plunger on wall. Yes. Using formerly uncharacteristic creativity, you apply the suction cup-like plunger to the smooth metal finish and hang on for dear life. Once a janitor, always a janitor. Actually, we should have a... a um, if we can... Probably show this death off too, but um, eh, I might have it anyway, actually. Um, what do I need to put in the... Ah, toilet paper, right, okay. Put toilet paper in waste basket. You can hang on no longer. Okay, we're going to see it anyway. You have to do it so quickly. Hey, how's it going, Rex? Imagine, if you will, taking a bath in sulfuric acid and using pumice for a washcloth. After that bit of displeasure passes, it gets much worse as the acid slowly eats its way to the last critical organs. Finally, mercifully, death takes you. Okay, so we did see the acid death. Um, so I think what you have to do there is put the toilet paper in the waste basket, then light it, right, to set off the fire alarm? Or maybe I have to stop the floor from moving first. I can't remember. Okay. Actually, maybe I can even do this before the, the wall starts shifting. Put toilet paper in waste basket. Oh, okay, we did that. Got us a point. Actually, well, I shouldn't consider that until we actually hit it. Alright. Light toilet paper. Or no, use lighter on paper. I don't understand your request. Set fire to toilet paper. Let's stone and say we did. Use lighter. There isn't much fuel. You might want to save it. Okay, so we have to wait until this happens. Okay, use lighter. Damn it. Use plunger on wall. Put plunger. No, 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 no. Plunger on wall. Use lighter. Ah, damn it. So how do I... I might want to save it. Put waste basket on floor. Can't be done at this time. Oh, did I need to do that before the thing started moving? Shit. Ah, alright. Well, another death. Thirty-one. Okay. Gets the hose again. Okay, um... Put toilet paper in waste basket. Put... Maybe I need to stand over here on the left side. Can't be done at this time. At the moment, walls, doors, and barriers seem to be surrounding you. So, once I grab onto the plunger, can I not then light the, um... Oh, I have glass cutter too, which I have not used yet. Basket with paper. Lighter. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to use lighter on basket? Oh, this is later, I think, you don't use that lighter. So I have to use the plunger with something else. Maybe this is too early to be doing this. Hold on. Puzzle. Oh, maybe the floor just retracts. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to try not doing anything. I'm just going to use the plunger at the last moment. Hey, how's it going, Glitch? 
Maybe if I, maybe I just need to hold on for a long enough time, so I just need to wait and maximize the amount of time I'm holding onto the plunger. Does not compute? Oh fuck, it was put plunger on wall. Okay, hold on. I'm <laughs> restored. Okay, put put plunger on wall. I think maybe you have to set off the fire you have to set off the sprinkler system later. I don't think that's part of this puzzle. Uh just once, Flitch. Just once. Really to show off the death more than anything. There we go. Okay, once a janitor, always a janitor. Now the question is, does the floor move back? Yes, it does. Okay, that's all we had to do. So the problem was, I just did it too, um, too early beforehand. Okay, cool. All right, 161, nice. So yeah, the, the whole fire thing is used later. For some reason though, I have no problem staying on as long as I need to. <laughs> all right, step down, drop, let go. You release your grip and drop back down. All right, take. Oh, okay, good. That saved us. All right, let's save. Okay. So. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, we didn't want to go this way. Well, we might as well take the death from this guy. Yeah, I gave you the, another Cedric because we we went over 160, Flitch. Oh, we're going to be in a, a nice sandwich here. Oh, the other guy isn't here. Alright, let's just get eaten by this guy. Or is this the guy that I need to get caught by the... I don't remember. There's a door to the right. You have made the mistake of getting within what looks to be a cattle prod's length of the metal menace. An electrical contact connected to an extension arm reaches from its body and makes contact with you. That's when you begin feeling the intense burst of electrical current pulsing through your body. You quickly black out. As you can see, you amount to little more than a hill of laser fried beans. You've come a long way, only to be torched. Keep up the fine work. Oh, hey, Rex. Yeah, yeah, I do I do that because it also helps me, um, along with a uh, save description. It's getting loud. Uh, yeah, it just helps me know the chronology of where we are at what point. Okay. So, um, I think, yeah, this is must be where I do the whole, um, the fire scene, because... The water from the sprinklers will um, short circuit the, um, the electrical robots. So put waste basket on floor. There's no need to put an empty basket here. Oh, put paper in basket. Okay, that got us point. Now um, put basket on floor. There we go. 163. Light. Well, the question is, do I light this now, or do I wait until after I've triggered the, the robot to follow me? Oh, I need to sneeze. Okay. Use lighter on paper. Does not compute. Use lighter on basket. Set fire to toilet paper. There we go. While receiving a nice hosing yourself, the basket fire is extinguished. Seconds later, a loud series of pops is followed by the smell of fried electronics. Okay, awesome. So that I think, yeah, the sprinklers sense accomplishment and cease operation. Okay, there we go. So I was kind of conflating those two puzzles, but that's that was the way to do it. All right, awesome. Let's save again. Your fire and subsequent shower seems to have shorted out the burnished bullies. Nice. All right, so now I think we can just proceed on to the right. Yep. 
You've just entered Vohal's secret chamber. The evil one himself is seated before a large console high on a platform in the center of the room. Standing obliviously ready are many of the dreaded salesman clones. An eerie glow illuminates the large chamber. Through the massive window you can see out into deep space. Lighted consoles adorn the area behind Vohal's perch. Vohal awaits at the top of the stairway. So, Roger Wilco, we meet again. I must say I'm quite impressed with your resourcefulness and tenacity. I'd love to chat, but I'm busy preparing the last of my salesman clones for their trip to Xenon. Feel free to stick around and observe the downfall of your civilization. <laughs> okay, I, I will, Vohal, I will, thank you. You can't make out much detail from here. All right. These guys are your worst nightmare come true. Imagine hundreds of John Davidsons in magnetically hazardous polyester suits. The color alone capable of rendering helpless the infirm. Topped with permabond hair, the face splashed with that let me let me win your over you over smile. He's a master guiltsmith programmed with one intent. Sell, sell, sell. Each are encased in pre-programmed impervious transport capsules. Okay, let's get up here. Going somewhere? Ha 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 ha! As soon as you step on the platform, you are struck by a beam of light emitted from a unit in the ceiling. In a matter of seconds, you are broken down into microparticles and extracted from the air. Again the beam strikes, this time blasting into a glass jar on the console. It is there that you are molecularly reconstructed in a miniaturized form. Well, I'll be darned, my miniatur miniaturization beam does work, Vohal's voice booms. In the old days, I test these things on myself, but as you may have noticed by my uh, appearance, uh, being my own guinea pig uh, has had its disadvantages. I guess this will keep you out of my way once and for all. You'll make a nice conversation piece. With that, Vohal turns away to put finishing touches on Xenon's fate. Okay, so we do have a glass cutter, so that seems to be the first thing to use. There we go. The newly cut pane of glass falls to the counter. Apparently, Vohal doesn't notice. You are on the surface of a console, a large, compared to you, jar sits in the middle. A hole has been cut in the side. There are some vents near the back. Wobble Penguin! Thanks very much for the follow. Welcome to the Das Adventure Quest. Happy to have you aboard and uh, great name. Love the name. Wobble Penguin. That's a fun name. I will only lower my guard when the hero is dead in front of me. Not before. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um... It's hard to see the rest of the console, console from this vantage point. Oh, here are the vents we're supposed to look at. As you turn your attention to the vent, you notice it to be a, a quite dark. You hear rhythmic hum, or no, rhythmic hum, of some sort of mechanical device and something that sounds like an industrial strength breathing. It might be coming from the vent. That doesn't seem to be the correct action in this case. Oh, because I think we're so small we can just enter the vent. Yep. You wiggle your slim carcass through the vent. Well, we're not exactly dead yet. I don't wouldn't exactly call us a carcass. Ah, uh, cool. Appreciate it. Thank you, Wobble. All right, let's look here. Judging from those two hoses coming in from outside, you guess that this is the inner workings of Volhall's life support system. A respirator pumps oxygen into his lungs, while the pump on the back wall forces blood through the filters. Okay, so we've got a pump. Oh, so there's a weird noise coming from outside. All right, while it... Actually, give me one second, guys. I <laughs> just want to check this out. One second. Be right back.
All right. Okay, it turns out, yeah, it was my wife watering some plants, but she was, like, hitting the hose against something. Anyway, <laughs> it's okay now. All right, so we've got, what do we have? The, um, oh, the respirator, right? Okay. There's also a sign on the back wall. The but sign says, caution, press button for emergency shut, shut off. Sounds like a good thing to do. Push button. You'll need to be closer. How do I? Oh, I have to go through the back to go behind this wire. You'll need to be closer. What the hell? How much closer do I need to be? It is typical of most buttons, except very large. Come on. Oh wait, oh, I want to push button, not look. Oh, yeah, you're right, Wobble. Yeah, that's, this is uh, some sort of spinning fan, I guess. Yeah, it's difficult to see behind the thing. Way to go, Roger Wilco. You've just disconnected Volhall's life support system. He's a goner without it. Okay, let's exit the vent. You can see Volhall struggling. Oh, wow, wait. Got 10 points for that. You can see Volhall struggling to take his last few breaths. Not you again. You think you have won, he wheezes. But all you have done is to seal your own fate. He reaches up and flips a switch on the far end of the console before dropping to the floor, dead. R.I.P. Vohal. Okay, so now, yeah, there's like a time thing which you have to do something or other. Um, oh, right, yeah, so we do need to um, get back to normal size. You are walking on another section of the control console. There's a large switch on the back panel. A keyboard is at your feet. It's just your typical keyboard. Keys with normal letters on them. Switch is, in the, is the toggle type. It is currently off. This is a button. All right, uh, pull switch. Reduce or Enlarge. Um, type enlarge. Sequence has begun. Oh, do I need to, Oh, yeah, I probably need to go in the other area where I was. You are once again reconstituted, this time to the correct size. You notice that the clones are gone. Oh yeah, so they've been launched. Right. Wow, we didn't even get any points for that. You wanted to see the reduce. Oh, did you become like even tinier? Um, clones gun. Hey, how's it going, Jimmy? Type in biggin. All right, uh, da da da. Vohal's motionless mass is heaped loosely at the base of his chair. Can I search Vohal? An examination of his repulsively turgid, fabric-encased mass reveals nothing other than the tubes which supplied him with blood and oxygen. You do notice the letters SHSR written in pen on the back of his left hand. Okay, that obviously could be something. Like a password or something. Move Vohal. The beach mass is fine where it is. Uh, look, console. The console is loaded with indicator lights. Except one on the left, the screens are filled with numbers, which would only make sense to Vohal. General status, orbit decaying. Prognosis, terminal. Interior environment, okay. External temperature, critical. Auxiliary operations, clone launch, go. Launch countdown, okay, six minutes. 
To abort the launch, enter the code below. Oh, well, we just got the code, probably. SHSR. Clone launch aborted. Nice. Countdown is stopped. F6 to exit. Nice. All right, 10 more points. Launch aborted. Okay. Oh, can we take that glass jar with us? That would be pretty amazing. How did we get... Oh, I guess, yeah, we, the, we, the particles were, were taken. There's no sense in messing with that now. It will not prolong your survival. Oh, shit, stair walking. Ah! Well, Roger Wilco, you found one more way to snatch humiliation from the jaws of heroism. Damn that stair walking. Maybe I can try to um, do that automatically. Um, you've got to a dive. Uh, yeah, you in the swamp. Oh, so Matt, there, to beat the swamp monster, you have to cover yourself with the red berries, which uh, smell bad. And then he stays away. It's like a monster repellent. And then to um, and then once you're in the swamp, you've got to dive down in some waters to find uh, a gem. That is like the illumination in the caves. Don't understand All right, I may need to go to normal for these stairs. Actually, I don't know why I'm using this. I should be using the, um, the numpad and just go diagonally up. All right, I made it anyway. Good. You are walking through a clear tubular passageway, which seems to wind in, wind in and out along the outer perimeter of the asteroid. There is a box mounted on the west end of this tube. You aren't in the right place to do that. Okay. Let's go back to fast. Save. Saving and loading? Oh, you mean you had trouble getting by there, right? 40 minutes, 40 minutes until meltdown, a synthesized voice cheerfully announces. Oh, great. And the box is actually an oxygen mask receptacle. It is currently closed. You open the box and noticing the oxygen mask, remove it and close the box. Nice, all right, we hit 200. Oh, you never used the berries, okay. Oh, I never changed the total for there, okay. Oh yeah, I think you do need to put on the mask later because there's a crack in the tube or something. This is an emergency oxygen mask. Yeah. Well, Leisure Suit Larry, there wasn't a uh, Leisure Suit Larry 4, right? You are walking through a clear tubular passageway which seems to wind in and out along the perimeter of the asteroid. The planet of Labion spins nearby. You can see evidence of the decaying orbit of the asteroid heating up from ever-increasing collisions with the atmospheric molecules. The glass tubes will not bear this heat much longer. All right, so we need to wear the mask. Okay, there we go. Actually, can I use? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so much better with the numpad. Good old numpad. Yeah, so there's the uh, tube breaking. A section of the glass tubing has fractured from combined stress. The pressurized atmosphere rushes for the relative vacuum of space. Fortunately, wearing the mask protects you from suffocation. No longer needing the mask, you remove it and stow it for later. It's just another section of hall. There's a door in the back wall. Um, okay. Probably a good idea to save. I'm trying to remember what you need to do here. Um, we've already aborted the launch. Oh, so now the the ship is going to self-destruct, so we need to get into an escape pod. Oh, really? Let's see. T I T S. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Is 
Is this a button? Yep. Oh shit, this is the way I came from! Oh, oh good, he slid the oxygen mask on automatically. Okay. Wait, which way am I supposed to be going here? Yeah, maybe I was supposed to be going to the right, I don't know. Oh shit. So that's like the area yeah, the robot comes to get you. You are somewhere, really? Okay. So I don't remember. Oh, I still haven't used that key card, I don't think. I think you just have to. Oh, this is the thing that gets crushed by the beast, I think. Um, but I don't think that's necessary. I think you could outrun him. Let's see. I'm just going to keep on going around. Let's see. We're here all somewhere. Or are we? Great question. Oh, thank God. I really hope that alarm thing doesn't come on. Okay, is the thing gone? It is gone. Okay. So the question is, uh, I'm trying to remember how I beat this originally. I think I just like sort of outsmarted it in some ways. Like I, or I kept them going back and forth between screens and like then made a run for the, um, for the escape pod door. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower the volume because it really is annoying. Okay, there we go. Are these the doors now? Oh, yeah, I might have done this. Okay, hold on. Push button. You're in the section of a hallway. One of the back walls is a bank of four escape pods. One of them is open. Enter pod. Upon entering the escape pod, you quickly take your seat. Oh, we got up to 210. Uh... 35, mi 35 minutes until meltdown, a synthesized voice cheerfully announces. You are seated inside one of the emergency escape vehicles. Before you lies a control panel and a viewport. The only outstanding feature on the panel is the clearly lo mar marked launch button. Press launch button. Warning, emergency escape vehicle launch sequence has begun. Launch time, T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Phew! You're going to have to stop cutting these escapes so close, Roger Wilco. Well, you must feel pretty good right now. You stopped Volhall from carrying out his threat of salesman infestation, ultimately destroying the twisted scientist himself. You also managed to save your own skin. And just look at that score. Pretty tarned impressive. Suddenly, a warning signal draws your attention to the oxygen meter on the front panel. It reads low and dropping fast. This is just great. You knew it was all too good to be true. You have maybe five minutes of air left. Well, Roger Wilco, it was nice knowing you. All right, so we'll save. Now you take the time to view the interior of the pod in more detail. You see a sleep chamber against one wall. Look, chamber. Okay, open chamber. Get closer. Get closer still. You turn back the plexiglass cover. Enter chamber. You make the split second decision to enter the sleep chamber. It seals automatically. Soon you are overcome by a pleasant drowsiness. 
this is certainly better than suffocating. You begin to drift away into a deep sleep with the satisfaction of having accomplished your task. You've come through in the clutch, and you deserve a nice long rest. Now if you someone would just pick you up along the way. So long, Roger Wilco, and thanks again for saving your people. Thanks for playing Space Quest 2. The end! Yes, it is, after 2 hours 57 minutes, Space Quest 2 Vohal's Revenge has been avenged. Two twenty out of two fifty. Yeah, I didn't get all the points. I didn't get all the points. I, I think there is something you can do with um, having either. I don't know whether it's the face hugger alien or. Um, maybe it's instead the robot, but I think that beast can kill one of them. I don't, I don't remember how I did it or how it works. But thanks very much, everybody. Yeah, that wasn't... Definitely wasn't too bad. I mean, I, again, I, I played the game a year ago, so it really was pretty fresh in my... I mean, I didn't remember everything exactly, but um, obviously... Uh, it was pretty, pretty, pretty fresh in my memory. Eru Salty, thanks very much for the follow. Welcome to the Das Adventure Quest. So yeah, I mean, uh, the game as a whole, yeah, it's, it's very similar to the first one. Um, probably just as many Walking Dead scenarios possible. I think the mere fact that you didn't have, A, the action sequence with the, the speeder over the rocks, and then you also removed the, um, the gambling, you know, the slot machine thing, which was really sort of grindy. Those were the two main things I didn't like about the first one. So I actually thought Space Quest 2 was actually better just in terms of... Um, puzzling and so forth. But yeah, in the hole, pretty good. It's loud. So let's dip into our Hall of Adventure and put game number 40, Space Quest 2, Chapter 2, Vohal's Revenge, up on the board.